Okay, so um, my task today is to tell you about common mistakes that marketers and uh, salespeople do um, when they try to sell um, sell something over the phone. Um, it's from it's from my experience, and it's important to know that we all do. Um, I won't analyze uh, your sales scripts. Uh, I just I just give um, a general overview. If any questions? Um, you can ask them after I finish, please. If some, if somebody has an an interesting advice for all of us, um, I'll, I'll be glad to to hear it. So um, I decided to put together 13 rules how not to sell over the phone. Do these mistakes? Um, you have you have like no chance to to sell. Um, I will describe uh, these rules in detail. Um, I'll describe the mistake, um, tell uh, why people do such a mistake, and also tell you how to avoid this um, this mistake. Uh, my area's problems described how we speak, what we speak, um, and how we think. Uh, what you all need to remember, there is no perfect phone call. We all make mistakes. Um, so we should pay attention to both positive things, what we do right, and negative things, what we need to improve. Okay, so um, let's start. Um, our webinar, how not to sell over the phone, 13 golden rules. So first of all, we can see the worst salesman ever. First uh, golden rule is um, speak with a monotone voice. It's boring and unconvincing. If you say, I'm glad to hear you with a monotone voice, you are not convincing. Um, imagine, um, hello, uh, I'm Paula from Copage. I'm really glad to hear you. Or, um, hello, it's Paula from Copage. I'm really glad to hear you. Second version was, was uh, more convincing. OK, so um, let's think what does it happen. Maybe tired, ill or bored um, because he's been using the same sales script for a long time. Like the product anymore or something. He may also have uh, problems in his private life. Um, if you're a team leader and you hear that your employer speaks with a monotone voice or seem bored or depressed, um, please talk with him and uh, of course figure out what's going on. Um, what to do. Um, uh, what to do if you if you're the the one who who has a problem with the monotone voice uh, voice I'm sorry um, ask your friend first of all you can ask your friend or team leader exactly uh, for a feedback because uh, you should uh, be aware if you have a problem with the monotone voice if if you have you should work on it uh, when a customer hear a monotone voice the whole statement loses uh, loses value. Um, next, um, next golden rule is uh, speak a lot and and fast. Okay, first, uh, what does it happen? A person who speaks fast may be stressed. Why the person may be stressed? Uh, because, for example, um, they know the products they sell. They read the script, or they might not be well prepared, um, or they don't like the company they work for or the products they sell. Also, many of us uh, knows the offer by heart. And that's why so many of us speak so fast. Um, what to do if you have uh, such a problem? Um, it's difficult to work on it, but it's possible. So please work on it. Um, if you're a team leader and one of your employers has a problem with um, fast speech, uh, tell him that and try to work on it. Find out why he speaks um, so fast. Really listen his conversation with him or some, you know, prepare a plan of what to do. Because um, remember, the sales talk is not a race. To be honest, I had a problem with the, with the fast speech. And my team leader told me that uh, there is a big, uh, big mistake. And it was not easy. The few weeks, a um, few months, maybe, uh, I learned how to speak a little bit slower. Uh, so um, summing this part, be somewhere in the middle. Don't speak too slow. But also, don't uh, don't speak too fast. 
okay, um, uh, another um, another golden rule is the monologue. Um, remember, we are salespeople, not lecturers. Um, if we speak without the break, we have no chance to check what customer does. Um, he listens, eat breakfast, is he there at all? Um, I guess that the most of, uh, of you have encouraged such a salesperson. One of, uh, uh, one of my friends uh, told me a funny story. I have a friend from size called a potential customer. Um, she described him the offer extensively and that at the end um, asked whether he was interested. Do, do you know what the answer was? Um, she heard snoring, the, the customer fell asleep during the speech. So I'm sure you don't want it to happen to you. When you present your offer, try to stop for a minute and listen to your customer. Um, try to find out who he or she is and what problems does he or she have. You will never succeed um, if you won't listen to your customer. Do, do not force the product down his throat. Remember that customers have different needs. It depends on their job, place of birth, social status and stuff product to your customer's need. And so, so what's the solution? What to do? It's simple. Just ask questions during the presentation. And the fourth golden rule uh, is interrupt your customers when they try to tell you something, when they are trying to, to tell you something. And remember, never interrupt your customers when they are trying to tell you something or need a moment to think. Um, appreciate that the customer wants to tell you something, share his thoughts, describe his situation. Mm, sometimes salespeople interrupt customers afraid of their objections. Um, yes, yes, we, I guess we are afraid of, um, well, I think I'll go to another company, they have lower prices. Um, aren't we? Um, I think that's, a, that's a one of the biggest fears. But, but we never know what the customer wants to say. Um, customer. Um, well, as, um, as for the price and then the salesperson, um, wait, wait, but, but we've got the best quality is the best product in the market. And now the, the customer is irritated because you interrupted him. Um, he may not want to buy from you. And maybe he wanted to say that the price is okay, but he does not have money for the product this month. And would like to call him, call you to him next uh, next month. So please do, don't lose your chance of closing the sale by just irritating your potential customer. Nobody wants to be interrupted. Now um, let's move to another area: what we speak. That's also very important. Mm, the golden rule, the five golden rule, is um, never use your knowledge about the customer and never do your research. Um, too many salespeople call a company they know nothing about. Um, also, many salespeople call me and say, hi, I, I, I want to talk with somebody from your marketing team. Well, you should have checked information about our company in the internet and check who works in our marketing team. Then you wouldn't call people from the sales. Um, I think we also receive cooperation proposals from companies that already work with us, which is um, rather ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm sure that many of you have uh, encountered such a situation. Um, I guess we all agree that, that do doing that is, is, is not okay. So please use the power of internet, do your search and find out what the company you call does and who you need to talk with. Learn who works in a given company and is responsible for making decisions. Do this, you won't be treated like, a, like, like some kind of enemy. Um, if you know the people from the company you want to call, you can also ask them for the information about the, about the company. And uh, remember, that's, uh, that's really important. It's not the number of calls, it's, it's the quality. Okay, uh, another golden rule is uh, focus on yourself. So um, 
many salespeople focus on themselves and uh, only their products. However, if you really want to sell your product, you should focus on your customer, what he needs and tell him how your product can make his life better. Mm, this is why your customer is interested in. Convince him that your products can solve his problems. Um, each and every conversation with a customer should be a conversation about him, not about you. Um, that's why you should focus on your customer's needs, that your goal is to sell the product. Um, I, I have, uh, I have uh, some example for you. Um, a car dealer calls you and describes his offer without asking you what type of car do you need. I don't know, for two people, for family, for longer or shortened distances and stuff, and um, how much you would like to pay for it, and whether you actually need a new car. And it's not convincing. But when the car dealer starts inquiring whether the car you have is living up to your expectations and stuff, he may actually convince you that you should buy a new car. So to be honest, um, who wouldn't buy the solution of, of his problems? Okay, seven golden rule is no questions. No questions means monologue and monologue is bad. We as telemarketers should, uh, should, should ask the questions and engage your customers. Sometimes people just want to talk. They want to talk and share their opinions. If we don't react to this and go on reading the sales script, we will lose any chance to sell. Phone should look like a conversation. Uh, and when you talk with your friends, for example, you do not talk only about yourself, but you interact with him. Ask questions uh, about him, what he was doing, what he wear and, and stuff. So remember to interact with your potential customer too. We all like to talk, right? So ask right questions and your customer will start talking about himself. Pain points. And that's a good beginning because when you know what problem he has, you can tell him how your products will solve his problem. Um, and I think the sales without a question is like going to a doctor who does not ask what's wrong, but immediately, dis dis don't you think? Okay, so um, the eighth golden rule is um, interrogation. Um, as I said um, uh, 30 seconds ago, it's good to ask questions, but not overdo it. What we can do is interrogating our customer and not paying attention to his answers um, or the, you know, giving um, inadequate um, answers. Our sales script usually tell us how a sales talk should look like. It is how ready to say and, and, and overdo uh, and bombard your potential customer with questions. Um, how much do you pay for your internet? How fast do your internet connection is? And how often uh, do you use the internet? Uh, why did you choose the, this particular internet service provider and stuff? Mm, the customer answers the salesperson answers, oh, I see, mm -hmm, okay. So reading his offer, without talking, customer answers into account. Um, hello, we are sales, uh, salespeople, not police officers. Um, another golden rule is inappropriate or vague word choice. Um, please as a salespeople, do not use words that your customer don't understand. Um, for example, when you go to a shop to buy a computer and know nothing about computers, you, ex you, you expect shop assistant to explain you what computers they have and which one is worth buying. However, if the shop assistant uses jargon, you get confused and um, usually resign from buying. Carry out a small experiment. Um, pretend that you want to buy a car. 
go to a car dealer, tell him that you consider buying a car, but you don't know nothing about the cars. And see, see, see how he behaves. If he uses jargon and speaks a lot of, um, you know, about technical details, the engine and stuff, uh, then you will know that he shouldn't work in sales. Um, that is why it is important to use words that your customer understands. To use a specialized vocabulary, explain what the words you use mean. Thanks to that, your customer may actually learn something from you. And if he learns something, he's more likely to come back to you. Um, of course, it depends on the customer you have, but you also should be careful with the colloquialisms. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's move to another problem. What and how we think. No plan whatsoever. Um, no plan means future. You should know what you want to uh, accomplish during the, you know, one sales call. Of course, sometimes it does not depend on us. Sometimes a manager or director call, uh, you know, calls you and then says, mm, um, "Hello, listen, John. Last month, sales. So this month you should you should close uh, 200 sales." Mm, but it's still good to have your own goals for a um, day, for a week, for a month. Leave everything for the last week of the month. It's really important because um, you, should, you should have a plan and organize your call schedule. Mm, plan your sales calls and know what you want to achieve, maximum and minimum, during one call and whether you actually achieve it. Um, remember, you should realize your objectivities, not your customers. Okay, the 11th golden rule is uh, don't know what your next step is. Mm, example, uh, recently I received a call from a salesman who wanted to deliver fruits to our office. Um, he took my email address, email address sorry, um, and, um, and after, after he, he took my email address, email address um, he said, um, okay, thank you, I will contact you next week. He did tell me when he called me exactly. So remember, always tell your customers when you will contact with them and what you will talk about. Don't say, uh, um, exactly, I'll contact you next, next week and, um, and I ask you if you're interested. I will call you next Thursday at 10 to ask whether you're interested in our offer. Will you be available at that time? Yes, thank you, great. And always specify time and date and what will happen at that time. Tell him that the next Friday you want to talk about your offer or signing the contract or something. Thanks to that, uh, your customer will, will, will you know, know what to expect from the from the next conversation, and you'll have time to, to prepare for that. Another golden rule is to forget about closing the sale. Um, your goal is to close the sale, so don't forget about it. That's, uh, that's how you earn money. That's how we say people earn money. Ask your customer directly, are you interested in our offer? Um, do you want to buy our product service? And how do you want to pay? With the credit card? Um, do you want to issue an invoice? If they say that they are not interested in buying, there is no point in wasting your time. And um, the time is the most precious thing. I value my time and I'm sure most of us, most of you do too. The last one is uh, force your customer to buy, to, to buy the product. And remember, there's nothing worse than forcing the customer to buy the product and cheating your customer. With such attitude, you will, you will not get very far in sales. Okay, I'm sum up. Um, everybody makes mistakes. Um, you should know what mistakes you make and try to improve. And think whether you make and uh, you know any of this of these mistakes. If you do, don't worry because now you. Yeah, now I would like to tell you something about uh, about uh, COVID, about our application. 
So um, call page is a system that analyzes the traffic on the website and when only verify a potential customer, immediately offers him um, in 28 seconds. Uh, this is how the pop-up window looks like and our widget. And after your customer leaves his phone number in the pop-up window, then the call page, uh, the system is, the, you know, automatically, the, the call is automatically generated by our system directly to your company and after that to your customer. So you can speak with your customer uh, over the mobile phone or landline phone or CIP. Mm, I have a few examples for you. That's an orange company. This is how our, uh, our application looks like on, on their website. And um, Grupa Bednarek Polska, one of the biggest car dealers in Poland, they have our um, widget on their website and also live chat. So it means that you can use uh, our solution and the live chat solution. There's not a there's not a problem because you only create another channel to contact with your customers. And Superpolisa, insurance compression website. Oh, our widget look uh, on their website. You can personalize to the the widget to 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 your website, and to, to if you if you want it to look more more like um, integration part of the of the website. Okay, if it's about the business link, the biggest network of co-working space in Poland. Um, and to be honest, the thanks to Copage, it answers the, all the calls from the potential customers. As you see, they add the picture and the PV, uh, PwC London, one of the biggest consulting companies in Europe. And thanks to CallPage, it has full control over the telephone uh, customer service quality. Okay, so um, um, thank you for, 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 the, for your attention. And now, um, now if you have some questions, I will be glad to hear it. Um, okay, so um, I see there's no questions. So thank you very much for your attention. And I hope all of you enjoyed the, the presentation. And 
I, I encourage you to test our application. Have